Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's take a look at smart photo albums in iPhoto 09. So just like you can create smart folders in the Finder and smart playlists in iTunes, you can create smart albums in iPhoto. These are very useful for organizing your photos and seeing what you have. Let's take a look. So here we are in iPhoto and I'm going to create a smart album from the file menu. I start off by naming it and then I'm going to give it a condition. So in this case I'm going to create something fairly common. I'm going to look through all the different things I can base a condition on and instead of picking something like title, a keyword, event, that type of thing, I'm going to pick one of the pieces of information about the photo. A lot of information stored when you take a photo such as the camera aperture, whether the flash is on, focal length, that kind of thing. I'm actually going to choose camera model and then I'm going to set it to be is and I'm going to choose from a list of camera models. This is all of the different camera models used to take photos in this collection. So I'm going to choose the iPhone 3GS and click OK. And when I get this photo album here and I'm only going to get one photo in it, the only one in the collection taken with the iPhone 3GS. So right away you can see the usefulness here. Several people in the last few weeks have asked me how they can just isolate the photos they've taken with their iPhone instead of the photos that they've taken with their digital camera. Here's one way to do it. I could also make the Smart Album a little more complex. I'm going to control click on it here to edit it and I'm going to change it and add a second condition by pressing the plus button here. I'm going to set this one to camera model is iPhone, the regular iPhone and I'm going to make sure it says match all of the following conditions. I'm going to change that to any of the following conditions. So it will be either the iPhone 3GS or the iPhone. When I click OK, I see I have more pictures here. Some pictures taken with my old iPhone, some taken with my new iPhone 3GS. Now we can do lots of interesting things here with the Smart Albums. For instance, if we pick ISO as our criteria, we can see we have different speeds here. So chances are the 100s are mostly taken outside, whereas the 400s might be mostly taken inside. Depends on your camera and how you use it. But it could be a really quick way to sort through photos to find some things that you're looking for. Of course you could also use this hand entered information here like album name, text, uh, description, that type of thing. Uh, for instance you can use keywords and you can have keywords that might be assigned to your photos. If you look back at episode 246 you'll see how to assign keywords to all your photos. So if you've tagged them all then you can create some smart albums based on the tags that you've applied to your photos. Now smart albums update live. That means if you create a smart album that looks for keywords assigned to photos, if you assign more photos those keywords, they'll automatically be added to the smart albums. And the same thing if you have a smart album for all your pictures taken with your iPhone. As soon as you add more iPhone pictures, they'll automatically be added to those smart albums. Now if you sync them back to your iPhone or to another device like the Apple TV, then you'll find that it automatically updates when you sync again to show the new photos in those albums. So I hope you found this useful. Till next time, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now.